Hey everybody, it's me Tim Fantex. Today I show you how to create a dedicated leg free, latence free, dedicated server for Factorio. So let's start again. And first we need Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box. After that we create a uh, new name is uh, it's not important so like uh, I take Windows 7 64 bit so um, I've uh, prepared it for you know so let's uh, show the settings you know like uh, the network is important you know like looks like uh, here ad adapter type it's like before the past fast net uh, PC net fast uh, three on first uh, we have no internet connection after that we install the Intel Pro MT desktop click OK and let's run so the next important step is shared folders why you need the same um, network drivers like your PC you know as a person uh, computer so we press uh, add new folder other and uh, I prepared it for my own folder like public you know there's something like uh, PC LAN drivers and many more so I have this uh, auto auto mount is really important Prepare that. I've uh, started. So we uh, need device insert guest editions CD image. You must install it. You know, drag and drop is uh, bi bi directional and shared clipboard too. So, you know, a Windows. 7 And now uh, looks like this here. The network is running. Looks like that. So uh, I have a full internet connection. So uh, next step is I open computer and looks this here. It's a insert guest ed uh, edition CD image folder. So uh, here are my LAN drivers and this is the setup for Factorio. Uh, I have prepared it so I installed uh, Factorio on first, you know. But the important thing is you must to create another uh, folder for the security. So I have to um, install it uh, in C Factorio. Our next step is um, yeah we need the we need the batch file so we uh, you see the uh, the folder is server C Factorio Factorio bin x64 I open up that with notepad the simple type for the batch file is factorio.exe I, I typed them in the descriptions, no problem for me. So, um, this is the important thing here. Uh, my, my safe game is lol.zip. So, uh, we look to the folder. It's an app data. Factorio saves. There is it. It's a lol. It's a Ford four or five megabytes big file so I've played something so but the uh, important thing is why I do that so um, the important thing is some many uh, players are had a very lack game you know when the multiplayer is started it's async it's not synchronization, you know, but the, uh, this method is very, very, very fucking good. Has no lag, has no latency, has no async. It's amazing file, wonderful. So um, let's start um, 
the game uh, open up my uh, I had uh, blah, 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 sorry yesterday I had to play some game I must go to my app folder so the low save game is uh, updated you must save it this is important uh, same same uh, file, but you must you must it. Yeah, you, the server is not saving the file. So I press copy, put them into the like pop, paste it, and here's a uh, so we look. here we uh, cut them press app data and paste them factorio saves will it delete uh, before here yes paste them so the first step is your uh, your internet is not Activated so um, here are my LAN drivers for my computer for my big rig. So um, I install it here. You, the very important thing is you need service pack one from Windows. Here's the service pack one. You can download it from uh, Microsoft official site. Uh, type in Google uh, Windows. Service Pack 1 for 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. I don't know what your operation system is. So, after that we Factorio file to create a display. Oh, I'm sorry. I have no graphic card. This is a f I didn't. So, I'm so sorry. So, our next step we open up it yeah wonderful is running you'll see here's a loading map the loading the map here loading the map uses tfx updated roaming factorio saves lol zip you know this is uh, the file they have uh, pasted into the updater for so, let's show um, if the server We go into the server. Uh, I'm sorry, in the client. It's loading maps. And now we, we press play. Multiplayer. Connect with LAN. Connected. The map will download from my server. You see that? It's virtual machine, but uh, connected to the server. So the map was download as uh, 5 MB and wonderful. And we must to save the game every time, you know. And we we end the game. 